Hi, this is Yadira from El Club de las Diosas, and today I'm going to show you another way to do a book, a color by numbers book using templates in Kava. As I mentioned before, these templates are inspiration, right? You have to um, utilize your own fonts, you have to personalize it in order for you to be able to use them for publishing purposes on Amazon or whatever other format you use. But it's very, very simple. All you gotta do is go into templates, type on the search bar, color by numbers, and you will see a numerous amount of different type of color by number sheets. Now, you have to start thinking about how your book is going to look like, right? If you want it to be in black and white, if you want it to be in different colors. In this particular case, I am selecting this particular artist who have created a bunch of different templates and I'm just going to see what other things she has created that perhaps can bring some inspiration into what I would like to accomplish for my book. As you can see, numerous options, different shapes, formats. It is a lot of fun. So what I am going to do as I'm looking through these, I'm starting to formalizing how my book is going to look like in my mind and I want to focus on color by numbers. I want to do um, do a book color by numbers in black and white. So I'm going to go ahead and customize this template according to what I would like to do, right? Like I said, this is just for inspiration only. You have to change the template, right? To make it your own, to personalize it. And there are many different ways to do so. Um, you can change the background, you can change the font, you can add different things um, to this page to make it your own. In this case, I'm going to do something fun, which is, you know, just play with the fonts itself and see what other options I, I have available. Kaba has uh, a lot of different options when it comes to fonts, and you can even download your own as well. So in this case, I'm changing to see, you know, what fonts will be uh, more legible for children, because at the end of the day, this is going to be for elementary children, right? So you want to make sure that the font is very legible. Uh, one thing that I also like to add into my books is a an area in which they can add their own names because in my mind, I'm thinking that they would like to add their names, they would like to rip off the pages, right? So that way they can just go ahead and post it in their uh, refrigerators or whatever art display the, the parents have in their home. So I want to add a section in here where they can add their names and perhaps use the same font to make it consistent. I'm going to play it around with the font size because I want to make sure that it's legible enough and I want to add a line so they can write their own name into this page. As I mentioned, you want to make sure that you have enough space for that and then play around this. In this case, I'm adding the name um, and the line to be in the bottom, but you can do it on the top, right? There's many different ways that you can personalize it. Perhaps you want to have the name on the bottom. Uh, I mean, the name on the top and then a uh, page number on the bottom, however you want to do it, right? Now, because I like the style that this artist had created their page, I want to see what else she has available. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and search bar at color my numbers again. It looks like um, she has other um, inspirational creative that I can use for my book. And as you can see, this is pretty similar to what she had done before. It looks like everything is within a square and it looks a very similar uh, format from before. But again, I want to make sure that I change it and I personalize it to how I want my book to look like. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be my book and this person, again, using this as inspiration, right? And I want to go ahead and um, add... Uh, the name and the line that I have already added from the previous page and just as it's as easy as copy and paste. Once you have a set format, it's very easy to uh, copy and paste into the following page. Um, and then once I have an idea of how I want to look like, right, I take a look at how the page might, might look like within the book. Like I said, if you want the kids to rip up their pages, you just need to add a page in between to be blank. If not, you can just leave one page right after another one. And it's just very simple. Again, um, if you want to see how this artist created this page, you can see that she had grouped it. So I wanted to see, you know, how she add the, the numbers, if there's something else that I wanted to add to this, 
uh, perhaps an additional color that I she never thought of. Once everything is all said and done, all you got to do is download, select the PDF version, and you're good to go. So I hope this has served as inspiration to you on how to create a color by numbers book. If you would like to receive other videos, please subscribe. Um, and that way you can receive more of these. Thank you and have a great day.